Look, Daddy B. Roll up the newspaper and give it to me. <gasps> ah. A delicious snack. <laughs> I don't like that. No? <laughs> no. No. I feel bad for the guy, but I also feel bad for the bee. Eating bees. Me on r slash we eat bees. <laughs> Why? <laughs> poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Remember that poison? <laughs> Hi, human one. Hi. <laughs> Do you know what we're doing today? Nope. We're going to the subreddit r slash we eat bees. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. You ready? Sure. All right, let's get started. Bees. <laughs> That's what this is. Real bees. Sweet and crunchy bees. Whole bees is always the first ingredient. <laughs> General bees. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like this whole subreddit is just why. Sometimes bees get tired from flying and fall asleep inside flowers with their <laughs> with pollen on their bee butts. <laughs> 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 That's a big booty. That's a little bit of extra junk in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> Tunnel of bees! <laughs> is that a bee or is that a wasp? To be honest, those are wasps. Those are wasps, and yeah. It, those, are, those are yellow jackets. And I have no idea what this child's doing, but it's heading into death. <laughs> oh. This is a tunnel of death. This has got to be on someone's farm or something. This can't be like Disneyland. This is... This is a death trap. I can't even imagine those antennae fitting underneath that bar. I don't know. The forced perspective, maybe? But still, that's your... your... Goodbye, child. <laughs> Do you think this was intentionally a death trap? <laughs> it has to be. It's a wasp. <laughs> Bumblebee has officially been added to the ever-growing list of endangered species. Everyone who has a heart... Aww. He sounded real sad. <laughs> oh, save the bees. <laughs> save the bumblebees. And I. Nobody. R slash we eat bees. Oh, oh Lord, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that bees sleep between five and eight hours a day, sometimes in flowers? And they also like to sleep with other bees and hold each other's feet. Ah, 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 ah. Look at how cute. Wait, what did you just say? 69. 6 B9? 6 B9. 6 B9, really. Uh, can't unsee. Mine. Dog is my name. And I did an oop. If you can see, I have a big boop. I cannot bark. I can't say hi because I ate a spicy fly. A lesson learn, too much regret. Out now we go into the vet. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> he has a big boop. A big, oh, a big boop on a snoot. Boop snoot. Boop snoot. <laughs> you want a dog. I want a dog. Yeah, and a cat. And a cat. And I wanted to be best friends. Does a cute sleeping bee count for this community? <laughs> I think people would say no, but yes, so much yes. <laughs> oh, a snack on a stick. Sometimes they're so cute. Yeah, nature's cute. Sometimes. Fuzzy's na fuzzy nature is cute. Fuzzy things are cute. Spotted a bee outside my window and gave him a sugary treat. Got a high five in return. So there's the bee. Oh. <laughs> Doot -doot. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> the eldest child, I nanny, she's five, has a game where she sits us all in a circle and gives us each a coin with a sticker on one. Anyways, if we flip our coin and it lands sticker side up, we have to touch the dead bee she keeps under her bed in a Tupperware. Okay, no. Okay, no. No? No. Why not? That's that's a red flag. <laughs> She's five. Oh, no. She's not like the exorcist. She'll be fine. Mm, why would you keep a dead bee? She's five. So? Didn't you keep dead bees under your bed in a Tupperware and make people touch them when they flip the coin onto the sticker when you were five? <laughs> not, not that I can recall. No? No. You had a boring childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a common thing, keeping dead things? No, not dead things. That's gross. Just dead bee under your bed in a Tupperware you that you make people touch. <laughs> I think this is secretly about me. Are you confessing? Nope. Uh, you're confessing. Okay. The other passengers on the bus stare at... Oh, wait. Actually, I want you to read this one. 
The other passengers on the bus stare at me. I think they can hear the vibrator in my <laughs> Those are my emotional support bees, I insist. This reassures no one. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that worked. <laughs> Fun fact. Bees like flowers, which means if you give a girl flowers and she likes them, she is a bunch of bees in disguise. Nice try, bee swarm. You're dumped. How to know if she's a swarm keeper ranger. <laughs> oh yeah, sneaked in that r slash d and d memes. Uh, <laughs> it clicked now. Yep, there Got it is. It. Got there it. it is. Halloween disaster. Creepy guy only handed out bees. The trick-or-treaters just wanted some candy, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that picture is accurate. <laughs> Shh. Baby bees are sleeping underground. That seems like a trap. I know. I was like, is that a threat? Or is that a warning? <laughs> is that a threat? <laughs> I'm breeding an army. This, this kitty accidentally stepped on a bee. Oh, no. Oh, no. You didn't see it. His little, you didn't his see little it. paw. I know. Not little. Look how big it is. It, it was look little. at the look, other little look one. Look at the comparison. Look at the other little one and look at the big one. Look at the <laughs> This kitty accidentally stepped on a bee. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I hope, I hope it's okay. If you don't know the Eddie Izzard routine, actually, if you don't know Eddie Izzard, look up Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard has a fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic line about bees. I don't know how beekeepers talk to each other in the office. They don't have a water cooler that they can sit around and talk. So they, so they can't say, I like my women like I like my coffee in a plastic cup. <laughs> they have to be like, I like my women like I like my bees. Covered in bees! <laughs> if you don't know it, watch, watch Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard is amazing. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, thank you for jumping in on another fantastic video. This was r slash, uh... We ate bees. We we eat bees. We eat bees. No, we eat bees. Uh, we eat bees. We eat bees. <laughs> biz, biz, biz. Human one. What did you think of the subreddit? It was, it was a, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I love bees. Save the bees. Good one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, would you recommend doing this one again in the future? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me on a video, Human One. You're welcome. Uh, everyone on stream was asking for Human One to jump in on the next video. So this is the next video after stream. So awesome. If you want to catch up with the two of us or if you just want to catch up and watch us play games, um, jump in on the stream. I also take recommendations for videos on stream. So definitely do that as well. All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you. Oh, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up in the comments. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Where we take it? One topic at a time. Roll that outro! Alright, my beardos and weirdos, and here's the part of the video where we do the Patreon outro. There are some names on the screen now that I want to thank, and a few that I want to shout out. Megan RB, Lawn Disorder, Amosa Hyena, Danny Amy, and Rainy Seal, FarQ2, Sam, Juliana, Mephis, I'll Show Myself Out, Avery, Daniel Magic, Phoebe, uh, Kristen, Hunter Glancy, Roseanne Tiggleman, Percy, Ross Vegas, James Siegel, Nerd Counselor, Ren, Scoogs, Feline, John Canisto, Melissa Mabe, Sasha, Don Princey 99, Sarah Jenkins, Jonesy, Litzy, FER, Lord Gorgok, Fred Gomez, Cat Wolf, Brandon, Astrodomo 4, Trey Atkins, Aziza Ashling, Don Maples, and and Rathkos. Thank you all so much. All of you are fantastic for supporting the channel. I love being able to make all this content for you, and I just want to say thank you at the end of these videos for you. All right, my beardos and weirdos, we'll see you later. I love you all.